beautiful morning at the Minnesota State Fair and uh, welcome to the Christensen Farm Sage that's located outside of the CHS Miracle Birth Center. And on stage first this morning is going to be a local magician, so if you can help me, please welcome magician Tom Anderson. Well, it's great to be here at the Minnesota State Fair. We're highlighting soybeans. Now, the one thing is, this is a magic show, so you're going to want to watch the magic very close. Because if you didn't see the hot flaming torch suddenly disappear, then you're not watching the magic close enough. I was amazed that in soybeans, I thought, you know, maybe a couple hundred products are made out of soybeans. What I found is not only thousands, but millions of products are actually made out of soybeans. But getting back to the magic, most magicians will show you something that's completely empty. And out of that emptiness, they pull something. Now, I do need helpers from time to time, and you're going to have to answer questions. So you've got to listen really close. Now, with soybeans, when they process soybeans, they actually roll them out and they turns into mash and oil. Now, the mash is actually used for feed with farm animals. And it also goes into pets at home, which is really neat because I've got a pet that I love to have out, and it's a dove. Now, I do need somebody to help me hold a dove. Way up like that, all right? Isn't that nice? But I do need your other hand over here. We do have another duck. Way up high. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's... There. Keep him way up high. Should we just leave him like this the rest of the show? Soybean show today. My normal agricadaver show, we talk a lot about eggs and the great protein and the iron that are in eggs for every meal of the day. But... For this show, you know what we're going to do? We are going to talk about, ooh, anybody have cereal for breakfast? Cereal for breakfast. And you know what? You can put on cereal, soy milk. Tastes really good. You should try it. All right, so I need somebody to help me. This sir, if you've got breakfast and you've got cereal, what's great to put on it? Soy milk, yes, okay, she got it right, great. All right, what I want you to do is come on right over here. What's in the water bucket? Nothing, in the water bucket. We have an empty water bucket. Now, real world, you take a, there you go, that's good. Real world, you take a baby chick with soybeans, it takes about six months, and you now have an egg laying chicken, right? But in the magical world, you know what we do? What do you think? Did that work? I think that worked. Thank you very much. Oh, we owe you something, though. A couple of bucks. Thank you very much for coming up. Now, this is actually a Red Rock Island hen. It lays brown eggs, one a day. It's really neat. And he eats soybeans. Can you imagine that? You want some help to get up? Okay, you're doing great. Now, I want you to stand right here, and I want you, how old are you, by the way? You're four? Oh, you're really old. Sometimes I get like two and a half year olds up here. Now, what you may not know is that soy, soy oil is made into biodiesel fuel. Diesels, which are a lot of trucks, a lot of cars, and that kind of stuff. Well, they also make plastic out of it. And you know what sponge balls are? They're plastic. The question, did you know that if you take soy milk and you make tofu out of it, you end up with these fibers. You know what the fibers do? They make soy silk out of those fibers. And if you make soy silk, you can make a, dr a dress, no, pants like that. They can make a coat like this out of soy silk, which is really phenomenal, I thought. Anyway, you know what else they can do? They can make robes. Empty? Tell you what, she is going to prove that it's empty in here. What I want you to do is stick your head in there. Real quick. Stick your head in there. You'll have to turn it sideways to get it all the way in. All the way in. Go ahead. All the way in. No, no, all the way in. All the way in the back. 
Oh, no, no, all the way. No, you have to, here, sideways this way. Now turn it like this. Now all the way to the back. Find anything, anything in there? It's empty. You know, I do apologize. That was good. You did a good job. Yeah. I do apologize because, you know, normally we have something in there. But this time, obviously, we had nothing, and I, I do apologize. What? No, no, no. You don't understand. It's empty. No, 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 no. What? No, 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 no. See, it's completely empty. You don't understand. She put her head in there all the way to the back, and it's empty, right? Just completely empty. You know, actually, we do shows for all ages, from three years old on up to the large corporate. We are local. Uh, we actually, in our larger shows, our corporate shows, we'll stick Hocus in a cannon on one side of the stage and shoot them off all the way over to the other side of the stage. Loves that, don't you? Yes, loves that. Okay. And Nicole does shows for all ages again. She is her own magician. She's helping me out today. She is my daughter. And she is going to come out and do a magic trick for you. Sorry, folks. I'm hijacking this show. Mine now. Stop. So you all know that soybean can be made into ink, right? Well, a lot of soybean ink ends up on newspapers. It even ended up on the price tag for this headband. But it could also possibly be on cards. So that's why I'm doing a card trick today. I am going to need two people here to help me. Someone has to have deep pockets, just so you know. Who has deep pockets? You have deep, all right, come on up here. And then I need somebody else. So if you ever notice, when you're a farmer, or when you get all your products from the farm, you never see the farmer. You don't know what's going on. So you're going to be my farmer. You're going to stand right over here, okay? Now face the car out and look pretty for a few minutes. Okay. Then you're going to be my consumer. You go stand over there. You don't see him. You never have any contact with the farmer, do you? Because that's, he's growing the soybeans over here and you're over there consuming them, but you never find him. So well, from there on out, magic happens. So let's go into the magic trick. Well, that one's purple. Hey, what's that? Where'd that come from? Wait, did you have any contact with her at all? No. No? Did you have any contact with him? All right. That's how it works. Thank you guys for your help. We, oh, we need to get you guys some books. There you go. And there you go. Have a good day. I guess I'll give the show back to his rightful owner. Okay, actually, I apologize. I just got really thirsty. Probably should have gone over to the milk place to get some, uh, what? I, like I said, I apologize, but I should have gone over to the milk. Mm. Escape artist, one of Harry Houdini's great escapes. And I want you to stand right over here. Everybody can see you. And what's gonna happen is, Harry used to, you know, they put him in handcuffs and he'd get out of them. They'd tie him, you know, they'd put him in shackles and he'd get out of them. They'd tie him up, put him in a box, he'd get out of it. What we're going to do is one small part of one of Harry Houdini's famous rope tricks. Now, what you may not know is that in farming, you have to be a great knot tire. Because if you're, now tighten that up, that first one, really hard. No, harder, harder. Harder, 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 harder. Oh, yeah, that's hard. Okay. Um, now I'll finish that knot. All right, now what you may not know is in, in farming you have to tie knots because you're always tying bales of what together? Hey, hey no, soybeans. Don't you know soybeans? This is a soybean show, not a hay show. Uh, okay, good knot though. That was excellent. My hand's turning blue, isn't it? Is that a good knot? Yeah. That's a solid knot. Now, one of the... Now, Harry used to start wiggling to get out of that knot right away, and by the time he'd be, you know, in the box, he'd be out. That's a good knot. <laughs> uh, you know, I, you know, I probably should have picked him over here to tie it instead of you, because I tell you, that knot is a solid knot, and I do apologize. Normally, I can get out of that right away. But I just, you know, I can't get out of that. And, you know, I apologize because I'm even sweating right now. This is, I mean, most of the time I can, I mean, I, really, that is a great knot. I, I do apologize. Could you untie me so we can finish the show? I, I do apologize. Normally I can get out of that right away. And, I, you know, I'm sorry, but 
Maybe next time, next show, I can figure that out a little bit better. But that was, oh, that hurt. Oh. Thank you, sir. But, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, it's dark enough, I think you can see this. This is the proper way to give out your business card if you're a business person or something like that. You take like that. Now that's the hottest card in magic. There's mind reading. Magicians love to mind read, right? And I'm going to show you something, and we're going to actually go out in the crowd, and this is a, another adult type magic trick. You put down milk. You know what I put down? Again, before he did that, how about milk? Young lady back there, 44, how about 44? And then the queen of diamonds, and that's how you read mine. Oh, we've got a couple more tricks for you, a couple more illusions. And again, one of the things, you know what? You guys are really good. A lot of times I get kids up here and they're playing and that kind of stuff and I had to hit them with the tick to get them back. Isn't that how you control your kids? No, no, that's the old time. We don't do that anymore. And you know what? We don't even need the cane anymore. We can just get rid of that, right? So, I do need, oh no, we're gonna show you something. Show you something I acquired at a farm the other day. One of those 105 year old farms went out there and they were actually barn, they were getting rid of some of their old product. This time it rose to about a foot, but it kept on going and it didn't stop. And I went, you know, wonder what's under this side. And there was nothing. And I said, what's under this side? And nothing. And I went, you know what? I'm not sure it's attached by anything. I'm pretty sure it's just hanging there. And it was just flying, and it was floating out, and it floated up, and down, and it settled down. You can let go with that hand. Now you can let go with the other hand, and you can grab your buck, and it just flows, and down. And what's really nice is this box is just sitting there, right? And this tablecloth is not attached in any way, shape, or form to this table. And that's how you do proper magic. Thank you, sir. If you like the magic show, I've got one more thing to show you today. And then we we're actually going to be doing... Well, again, remember, soybean growers of Minnesota have had me out here. And we are doing tattoos over there at the table afterwards, after the show. We're actually going to be doing balloon twisting. Nicole and I are going to be down there probably in about 10 minutes after the show to do some balloon hats. Now remember, well, we're going to stick with the three animals that do the most eating of soybeans. And those are the cow, the pig, and the chicken. Oh, you know what? Did you know that another product of soybeans is candles and crayons? All right, can anybody remember the color of the candle? Let's see, let's, let's make this interesting. Young man, don't move. You win $25 if you can tell me what color that candle is right now. Red, he says red, he wins $25. Is it red? No, it's gone. Nobody wins that one, sorry. No, actually people sometimes think, hey, is it in my sleeve? No? How about this sleeve? Anything? Some people believe that it's in pockets in here, but it is no pockets in here. You know where that candle was the whole time? Right there. So thank you very much. You're a great audience. I do have another show. We have an egg show at uh, noon, not by me, and we have another Magic of Agricadabra at 2 o'clock. So, and stick around. We'll have uh, some balloons. So thanks again. Appreciate it.